I'm going to uh, begin by asking if you had heard of this story uh, before, and, and if not, is part of the appeal to you in getting involved in this project is telling this story because in some ways he he had a, he was there was a misjustice here you know and he, his name was 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 wronged in in, in in the kind of news and the media and do you think in some ways telling this story is a way for to to to, to wrong those to, to right those wrongs in some way and, and suddenly kind of let people know what what really went down yeah i think that the appeal uh, for this movie was was working with clint and i didn't know much about the story so when i started researching for for the character and reading the script that's when i realize the magnitude and the the implications of a story like this. So uh, in the beginning, I was very sort of disconnected from the story and didn't know much about it other than that it was a project that was active. And then the more I read up on it, the more I was sort of nauseated by, oh, we have to tell this um, really tricky story that, that, uh, that sort of sheds light on our susceptibility to something like this. We could all be victimized in this way. Um, it's not about black or white, male or female, orientation, religion. Any person could have happened to them what Richard Jewell had happened to him. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the cast is incredible. I mean, there's some scenes where you're sort of sat in the living room and you're sort of there with Kathy Bates and Sam Rockwell. I mean, I mean just, just, just as, a, as an actor, that must be so great to work with people like that because I guess when, when you're in a room with people like that, it's hard not to raise your own game when you're around people that... Are... Yeah, <laughs> come on, yeah, yeah. We uh, forget, forget movies and TV. Don't, if, if we see someone brilliant in our field, it should inspire or light a bit of a fire under under our ass, you know? And that's that's what I had every day with these guys. You show up and you're looking at Kathy and Sam and you're thinking, misery, fried green tomatoes, the green mile, three billboards, you know? Uh, their, their resume and those etched moments in your mind and your spirit just pop up and you go, I, I got to make sure I'm giving them something. Uh, and I, I think I did. I hope I did. They'll probably tell you, hopefully. When I left the cinema, I, I, when I saw this movie, I just found myself thinking about Richard for a couple of days. And just something, there's a warmth to this guy. There's something I just felt, quite, I felt a lot of empathy for, the, for him. I just wondered about you carrying him post making this film. If he's, if he's a character that you often think of and, and, and just, just in your sort of day to day, is he still someone that you, he comes into your head at all? He does. What I would say that the times that he has, it's just been, it's me reflecting on the fact that even if I didn't have anything in common with him on, on a base level, the way people have commonalities of we watch the same sport, we buy the same stuff when we shop, whatever the commonality is. If Richard and I, I didn't have any commonality on the surface, I know we'd probably have the same gentle spirit that knows right from wrong and wants to pursue justice and loving and helping other people. So that I feel close to him in that sense. And when I think about him... I don't really laugh or think of, of him as like uh, anything funny or, or the joke that some people made him out to be. I look at him like he's a hero, you know, and uh, saying it feels like, well, it's cliche, you know, that, but, but like to, to, to try to save lives in a crisis situation on the fly without knowing how to defuse a bomb, like. That is heroic, you know? The people in school shootings or public shootings who you hear accounts of them running in front of the shooter or grabbing a kid or pulling someone out of the way, that is heroic, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I hope that when people think of Richard, uh, they can laugh at some of his quirks, but I hope internally they really view him as the hero he was. And I, mean, I was looking at your um, your sort of upcoming features. You've got some huge projects coming up. I mean, do you think you'll often look? I mean, I, I loved you in I Tonya, and I mean, you've been some Thanks, great man. stuff. But do you think you'll always look back at Richard Jewell as being the perhaps one of the turning points in, in in your career? Yeah, how could you not? This is a turning point for sure. It's um, it's an amazing celebrated studio like Warner Brothers. It's Clint Eastwood. It's Billy Ray writing. Kathy Bates is my mom. It's like all the elements are just so over-the-top incredible, uh, which leads someone like me in the moment to feel inadequate because sometimes you show up and you're like, oh, I'm just this character actor. Why the hell am I the guy on the poster? How am I the guy, the titular character, you know? But um, sometimes things just work out, and timing and fate, I think, had a hand in this role, and, uh, and I feel so lucky to play Richard Jewell.
And just very finally, I mean, one of one of the films I'm most excited about that you've got coming up is The Five Bloods with yeah, Spike Lee. Yeah, man. Are you allowed to tell us yet about your character in that? Is that or is, or is it still a bit under wraps? I can say a little bit within reason. Yeah, I uh, in The Five Bloods, this Netflix film with Spike, uh, I play a bomb excavator. So I'm, I'm excavating landmines, and I get caught in a situation, uh, sort of in the jungle, uh, where we filmed in Thailand. We we filmed Thailand, pretending it was Vietnam. Uh, and I think it'll be a really cool movie. I'm, I'm excited for it to come out, and I love Spike. And Sp Spike and Clint both were text, you know, it's Clint in person telling me, but Spike was texting me, asking me about Clint because he's a fan. And I talked to Clint about Spike, and Clint's like, yeah, I'm a fan. I love Malcolm X and Black, Black Clans and stuff. So the fact that I was, like, texting, talking about those two guys and, and they're complimenting each other, I just... That's one of those pinch me moments, you know? That's the best middleman job I've ever heard in my life. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get him in the same room. Yeah. Spike's going to come. Spike can't wait to watch Richard Jewell. And he told me he's going to come see an early screening of it uh, this month. All right, brilliant. Thanks so much for your time. Today. Hey, cheers, cheers man. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey, You Guys. Hey, You Guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, 